Hello everyone, this is Imran Pardesi sir and today I will be teaching you the new topic of standard 9th math 2nd chapter number 6 and practice set 6.3. In practice set 6.3 today we will see how, how to construct in circle of a triangle and circum circle of a triangle. So here the new construction we will see. Please look at the board, understand the steps and follow me and draw the construction. Please look at the board. See here. Chapter number 6 circle, today's topic in circle of a triangle. It means by reading the name we, we can understand we have to draw circle inside the triangle. We have to draw first triangle and inside the triangle we will construct, we will draw a circle. See, look at here. A circle, so what is in circle of a triangle? A circle which touches all three sides of a triangle is called in circle of a triangle. A circle which touches all the three sides of a triangle is called in circle of a triangle. For example, first we will draw the base, then the given angles, angles. Then we have to draw a circle which touches all three sides of a triangle. So this is called in circle of a triangle. Any triangle ke under circle. Is it clear? Now we will see the steps. Okay, how to draw in circle of a triangle. Step number one. Construct triangle of given majors. It means always first we will draw the base, base of a triangle. Then the two angles will be given. We will draw the two angles. First we will draw base. Then we will draw angle 1, angle 2. Okay, they will intersect each other at a point. Okay, and then we will draw angle bisectors of any two angles of the triangle. It means we have to draw angle bisectors of any two angles of a triangle. So my dear students always remember or fix in your mind whenever the word will come construct its in circle. In circle it means we have to draw a circle inside the triangle and for in circle we will do angles bisectors. Is it clear? In circle we will do angles bisector. Okay. So now the next step denote the point of intersection of angle bisectors as I. Okay, for example, first I will draw the base. Okay, Some, suppose this is BC, B, angle B is 50 degree, angle C is 40 degree. Okay, this is 50 suppose, this is 40, they will intersect each other at a point, no problem. Now we have to draw angle bisectors. Do you know angle bisectors? Angle bisector, we will draw this arc, then we will keep compass here, we will take here one arc from here, one arc from here, we will draw its angle bisector similarly from c also we will draw the arc then we will take angle by we will take side arc here from arc here this will go from here wherever these two angle bisector will intersect give the name capital i capital i will be the intersection of angle bisectors okay now the next step we will see draw perpendicular i m then from i m suppose okay See, suppose this is your angle bisector. Suppose this is your angle bisector. Okay. And this name of this intersection point is I. So from I you will draw here a perpendicular. How? You will keep the compass over here. You will take arc here. Same arc you will do here. Okay. One arc will be here. One arc will be here. Then more than half you will take arc here. Same distance you will utilize here. Then you will draw the perpendicular. So the name of that perpendicular we will give I M. And then I M you will consider draw a circle with center I and radius I M. So we will take from here to here distance. From here to here as a radius of the circle and then we will draw a circle. Is it clear? This is only I am telling you with the rough idea. Now so dear students I am so sorry because of my geometrical box it is not working properly on whiteboard so therefore I am constructing I am doing the construction on the paper so I hope you will understand how to construct the in circle okay in circle of a triangle on the paper so please pay attention some of the introductory part I have explained you already on the whiteboard the construction I will draw here on the paper so please pay attention first you will read the question carefully question number one of practice set 6.3 is 
कंस्ट्रक्ट ट्राइंगल ए बी सी सच दैट एंगल बी हंड्रेड डिग्री सी बी सी इज द बेस सिक्स पॉइंट फोर सेंटीमीटर एंड एंगल सी विल बी फिफ्टी डिग्री एंड देर फोर बाई यूटिलाइजिंग दिस ऑल दीज मेजर्स वी विल कंस्ट्रक्ट इट्स इन सर्कल इन सर्कल मीन्स फर्स्ट वी हैव टू ड्रॉ द सर्कल फर्स्ट वी हैव टू ड्रॉ द ट्राइंगल अकॉर्डिंग टू द गिवन मेजर एंड देन वी हैव टू ड्रॉ द सर्कल इन साइड द ट्राइंगल ओके द स्टेप्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू प्लीज बी लुक एट द पेपर केयरफुली एंड अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू कंस्ट्रक्ट सो माई नाउ वी विल सी हाउ टू कंस्ट्रक्ट द गिवन इन सर्कल ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल फर्स्ट यू विल टेक द बेस बी सी ओके वी विल टेक बेस बी सी सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स पॉइंट फोर सेंटीमीटर ओके इन द स्केल विद द हेल्प ऑफ द स्केल यू विल ड्रॉ अ लाइन ओके वी विल गिव नेम ओवर हियर दिस दिस कॉर्नर विल बी बी सी इट इज ऑफ सिक्स पॉइंट फोर सेंटीमीटर नाउ विद द हेल्प ऑफ द प्रोट्रैक्टर we will take angle b is of 100 degree okay angle b is 100 degree so from right hand side we will read we will count this interior numbers 100 is here okay we will draw a line over there now we will keep this protector on point c and we will draw 50 degree angle okay from left hand side we will we will count the uh, exterior numbers okay now we will join this point as well join them properly with the help of the scale okay wherever it these two angles will intersect give the name capital a so this is how we have drawn triangle abc so angle b is of 100 degree and angle c is of 50 degree so this is a triangle first we will draw triangle abc to draw in circle and then we will do angle bisector of angle b and then we will do the angle bisector of angle c with the help of this compass so I, my dear students use this compass properly keep this this um, this point on point b c vertex b and give the arc c we will draw an arc of our own choice hamare choice ka then we will get two intersected point one point is here and one point is here okay c one point is here and one point is here so with the help of this compass we will draw the angle bisector then we will keep here at this point now with the help of the scale we will make angle bisector okay similarly we will perform for vertex c we will keep this point at c we will take our own choice our own choice arc no problem we will get two intersected point over there one is one is this and one is this so we will utilize the points over there now with the help of the scale we will join this arc so wherever these two angle bisector intersected at this point we will give the name capital i intersection point of these two angle bisector okay the two angle bisector intersected at point i now from i we will draw perpendicular straight perpendicular right with the help of the sec square okay it is very much easy to draw perpendicular with the help of the sec square you should know how to handle it see this is set square now i will keep the set square like this straight on this base bc
okay so now i will start drawing the the base perpendicular perpendicular on the base i will take a straight so this point it will consider capital m so now with the help of the compass you will keep this point on intersected point that is i and you will take the measurement till m okay you will take the measurement till m as a radius aap i pe rakhenge m tak ka distance lenge and that will be your base that will be your radius of the circle i m will be the radius of the circle so you will keep on i you will take distance till m okay and then you will construct the circle with the help of this compass okay see this is how you have to construct the circle you have to make in circle of a triangle okay so this is how the figure will be i hope you understood first you will draw the base bc angle b 100 degree angle c 50 degree they will intersect here capital a then you will draw by angle bisector of b then you will draw angle bisector of c both will intersect at point i then with the help of the set square we will draw the perpendicular like this okay and then we will use the compass we will utilize i to m i se m ka distance lekar we will draw a circle so this is a first answer of first construction of first question of 6.3 i hope you understood here how to draw so my dear students now after question number 1 we will see question number 3 directly because question number 1 and question number 3 is all about we have to draw in circle of a triangle okay so these two questions are similar but uh, here all three sides of a triangle is given see construct triangle xyz such that xy is equals to 6.7 cm okay yz is equals to 5.8 cm and xz is equals to 6.9 cm okay it means all three sides of a triangle is given and we have to draw construct its in circle it's the same circle like we have drawn in question number 1 so here three sides of a triangle is given we will draw by utilizing all three sides so first we will draw the triangle xyz so take the base yz okay yz is 5.8 cm and then according to the given measurement we will draw the triangle xyz please pay attention here so dear students according to the given measurement first we will draw the base yz okay yz as 5.8 cm so we will take yz as a base 5.8 cm i will give name here y and z 5.8 cm now xy xy 6.7 cm so i will take in compass 6.7 cm see 6 after 7 lines i will take 6.7 cm till 0 okay so from y i will make an arc the same for xz xz is 6.9 so i will take 6 after 9 lines 6 after 9 lines till 0 in the compass and then from z i will arc i will intersect this given arc so this is x now we will join it with the help of the scale and pencil okay so this this in the name of this intersected point i will give x y and z so this is xy is of how much 6.7 cm and zx xz is equal to 6.9 cm so this is how we have to draw first triangle and then we have to draw in circle for in circle remember we have to draw angle bisector okay again i will utilize this compass i will keep this point 
on Z and then I will draw its angle bisector to draw in circle okay see I will keep on Z I will construct an arc I will get two points one point is here and one point is here okay then I will draw angle bisector now we will join this okay now similarly we will draw angle bisector for vertex y we will keep the compass here according to our own choice we will make an arc we will get two intersected point one point is this one point is this okay now we will make angle bisector of y angle y now we will join it with the help of the pencil and scale okay so wherever it will intersect, we will give name here capital I, I intersection point I and then with the help of the set square we will draw perpendicular ok with the help of the set square we will draw the perpendicular first Okay, now we will give name here M. I M we will take as a radius in the compass. We will keep this point, this point on I. Okay, on I. We will take distance till M and then we will construct in circle. Now you will take a radius from I M and then you will draw a circle in circle of this triangle. Okay, this is how you have to draw a circle. Okay, I M will be the base. Ba I M will be the radius of the circle. You will draw the circle like this. Okay, so I hope you understood how to draw the in circle with the given measurement over here. Okay, first you will draw the base, then you will draw yx, then zx, okay, then we will draw angle bisector y, then we will draw angle bisector of z, they will interested at point i, from i with the help of the set square, we will draw base, we will draw perpendicular im, then with the help of this compass, we will keep this compass on i, and then till m we will take a distance of as a radius i say m takka distance lenge okay and then we will draw a circle which is in circle of a triangle so triangle ke andar hai okay we will draw the circle like this i hope you understood how to draw the circle in circle of a triangle so dear students after solving in circle of a triangle we will see now how to draw circum circle of the of a triangle so my dear students, here also we will first draw the triangle by the given measurement. Okay, see, construct triangle PQR such that angle P is equals to 70 degree, angle R is equals to 50 degree and side QR is equals to 7.3 centimeter and construct its circum circle. Okay, circum circle means what we have to draw circle from exterior outer side of a triangle triangle ke bahar se uske tino vertex ko chute huye okay all three vertex should touch okay now see so first we will draw the triangle base is given qr can you see here qr is given qr is equal to 7.3 centimeter okay so we will take qr as a base but in try but in uh, questions can you see angle p and angle r is given and base is qr hamara base qr hai angle r 50 hai angle q hamare paas nahi hai so in this condition first we will find out the angle q how triangle kitne degree ka hota hai any triangle is equals to 180 degree right every triangle is of 180 degree so uh, angle p plus angle q plus angle r is equals to 180 degree sum of the uh, sum of the triangle of a, uh, sum of uh, angles of a triangle is equals to 180 degree right so here in this question we will draw we will first find the angle q so see angle r 50 plus 70 120 120 will minus from 180 answer will come 
60 degree okay so angle q will be 60 degree we will find it over here please pay attention how to solve this my dear students in this question question number second okay construct triangle pqr such that angle p 70 angle r 50 degree and angle uh, and side qr 7.3 centimeter so side qr means q and r so r is given 50 degree q is not given here so first we will find out angle q okay because we need two angles on the base so we will say here we will write over here angle p plus angle q plus angle r is equals to 180 degree why is it so sum of all angles of a triangle all sum of all angles of a triangle okay is 180 degree is it clear sum of all angles of a triangle is 180 degree so now therefore angle p you know very well how much 70 degree angle q we don't know so we will write angle q angle r is of 50 degree is equals to 180 degree now this like term 70 and 50 will be 120 degree plus angle q is equals to 180 degree so therefore angle q is equals to 180 degree minus 120 degree which is, is equals to 60 degree okay which is equals to 60 degree so angle q therefore angle q is equals to 60 degree okay angle q is equal to 60 degree so now we will draw qr as a base hum qr base lenge q 60 degree lenge or r 50 degree and then we will draw the circum circle okay just please pay attention first we will take the base and that is of how much centimeter 7.3 centimeter see first we will draw the base over here 7.3 centimeter okay 7 after 3 lines it is we will give name over here now q and r okay we will give point qr is how much centimeter 7.3 centimeter now angle q is of how much degree we found here 60 degree so we will keep on q and we will take 60 degree okay 60 degree we will go from right hand side so we will count the interior number 60 degree here okay Okay, now angle R. Angle R is 50 degree. So, we will draw angle R 50 degree. From left hand side, we will count the exterior number. We will, make, we will join this also. Okay, wherever the they will intersect each other that is your angle p okay that is your angle p q so q is how much q is 60 degree and r is how much 50 degree okay now to draw circum circle to draw circum circle we have to do side bisector side bisector karna hai any two sides ka. any two sides side bisector okay any one two three there are three sides kisi bhi two sides ka you will do side bisector okay more than half you know how to draw the perpendicular right suppose i am taking side bisector of qr so i will keep on q i will take more than half aadhe se thoda zyada le lo okay i will keep on q aadhe se thoda zyada i will draw here and here side bisector same distance i will keep on r here Okay, same distance, please. The same distance I will keep on R. And I will make R of this. I will join it with the help of the scale. Okay. 
okay one perpendicular you have drawn one side bisector you have drawn now choose this side or this side which one is easy to you this right hand side will be easy to you for right handers i will take again more than half or this is zyada of this side i will draw arc here i will draw arc outside here okay the same distance i will keep this point on p now and we will cut this arc okay now with the help of the scale we will join these two arc okay so wherever these two arcs one this side by sector one this side by sector wherever they will intersect each other jahan par bhi wo intersect ho gaye okay so that point we will consider over there okay as c okay we will give the name point of concurrence c okay capital c okay and then from that jahan par bhi ye dono side by sector intersect hue at point c from that उस पॉइंट से एक वर्टेक्स तक किसी भी एक वर्टेक्स तक ओके इट मीन सपोज पी और सपोज फ्रॉम क्यू टिल क्यू ओके यू विल टेक अ डिस्टेंस एंड देन यू विल ड्रॉ अ सर्कल विच इज विच विल विच विल टच द वर्टेक्स आउटसाइड द सर्कल सी किसी भी एक साइड की तरफ आपने लेना है देन यू विल ड्रॉ सर्कम सर्कल विच विल टच ऑल द थ्री वर्टेक्स ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल ओके दिस इज हाउ यू हैव टू ड्रॉ circum circle i hope you understood here first we will draw base 7.3 q angle q is not given so we will do the measurement calculation over here from uh, all three angles sum of all three angles will be 180 degree 70 plus 50 120 angle q will be 60 degree so angle q 60 degree angle r 50 degree then we will do uh, side by sector for circum circle we will do side by sector kisi bhi do side 1 2 3 three sides hai किसी भी टू साइड्स का यू विल ड्रॉ साइड बाय सेक्टर वेर एवर दिस टू साइड बाय सेक्टर विल इंटरसेक्ट फ्रॉम दैट पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्क्यूरेंस यू विल टेक वन वर्टेक्स एक कोने तक का डिस्टेंस लेंगे और फिर उस कोने तक के डिस्टेंस को यू विल ड्रॉ एज अ रेडियस ऑफ द सर्कल एंड देन यू विल ड्रॉ अ सर्कल विच विल बी टचिंग द ऑल वर्टेक्स ऑफ द ट्राइंगल इज इट क्लियर सो दिस इज हाउ यू हैव टू ड्रॉ सर्कम सर्कल सो क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर it's also like this it will be a homework to you i hope you will understand how to draw is it clear so thank you so much and best of luck to draw the practice set 6.3 question number 4 and question number 5 will be homework to you i will be sharing one more uh, uh, video with you to be to to understand everything very easily please pay attention